Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this really cool low poly effect on photos. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be really simple. I'm going to start off by telling you how to do it. And then uh, I'm going to finish the tutorial by with a kind of like a speed art style. Just by like um, finishing off this low poly. And I'm, yeah, so I'm going to turn that into like speed art at the end of this video. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that on this version here. The brand uh, just started. So um, yeah, the first thing we want to do is we want to duplicate the layer on the, so yes, yeah, so you want to select your layer, press command J and that will duplicate it. And um, now you can see we've got two versions and the top one is the one we're going to be editing on. It's always good to keep it back up and that's why we've kind of kept that one. So uh, yeah, we're going to be working on the top layer and the tool that we're going to be primarily using is called the polygonal lasso tool. So you should just have the lasso tool here. It should be the third one down. Uh, just click and hold and then it will go to it'll have the uh, ma magnetic lasso tool and then polygonal lasso tool uh, we're going to be using the polygonal one like i said before and yeah so now we've got this tool i'm going to basically show you how to use it uh, just going off like i'm assuming you've never used this before so basically what it does is it makes these points and then what you can make a path and just makes the selection that's all it does you use this tool to make a selection and um, so to make a selection, there are two ways of doing it. You just make your path just like that. You can either press enter to finish your path or you could just um, join it up and you can see that when uh, when I go to the end point, it has that little circle on the on the tool. When, I not on, when I'm not on an end point, the circle isn't there. So if I go to an end point and just click, it will automatically just make the, um, the uh, the um the selection so if you make a a point by mistake just like um if i didn't want to make a point there you would have to press delete on your keyboard uh command z wouldn't work like if you press undo it wouldn't work you would have to press delete and yeah you can do that as many times as you want you just press delete as many times as you want so yeah it's not command z like you would be used to and um so yeah that's how you use the last tool that is pretty much all there is to it and um, we're going to be using a blur as well. So uh, let's just show you real quick how to like just to make the effect. So we're going to make our triangle. Then we go to filter, blur, and then average. So what that basically does is it collects all the colors in the in the selection that we made, and then it will decide on one color, and then it will uh, it will make that whole selection that one color. So we could do the same thing here. It just like covering the whole face that I actually don't know what's gonna what it's gonna come out like. So you can see that the average color out of that selection was this color and it basically made the whole thing that color. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so now I'm now we're gonna show you how to incorporate what I've just taught you into making a low poly design. So like I said before we got our duplicate right there and uh, we're just literally just gonna go around our object. So just go around it doesn't matter if this some of the points are jagged because we are using uh, well the low poly effect isn't that detailed so the jagged cut the jagged edges kind of do look good so yeah don't you don't need to worry about making it perfect all you need to do is just go around it and yeah it doesn't have to be as precise but you can do it as well as you want I'm just trying to go I'm just trying to rush it just for the sake of the tutorial although it doesn't really need that much time to do so yeah if we can just keep going around and there we go okay so we've gone around the whole thing we're going to uh, make our uh, selection by just finishing off the path and now you can press command J to duplicate it and now we just have this outline and of course like I said before it doesn't matter if you get above the background you can see there's a bit of background in there it doesn't matter because we're going to be averaging the colors anyway so if there's more of the lion than there is of the background then we won't see the background at all so let me just show you that real quick so we're going to make our selection you can see that there's quite a lot of background in this selection we're going to go to filter blur and then average and there you go you can't even see the background although it probably would darken it a little bit but that's fine and uh, it's probably it probably looks a bit better if it even if it darkens it because then there's more you can there's more define between the two uh, part uh, between between the two triangles. So yeah, let me just undo that. Okay, 
So now all we would do is just use our less magnet, uh, not our magnetic lasso tool, our polygonal lasso tool, just to make triangles, and then go to filter blur average. Obviously, we wouldn't need to go all the way there all the time. You just make your um, path or your selection, and then just press con Command F and then Command D. That is the shortcuts you would need, so it just makes it a lot faster. So. Command F that basically just redoes your last filter. So if you done average, if you did blur average on your last filter, all you need to do is press Command F, and then it will do the same thing again. And then what Command D does is it deselects the selection. So yeah, we can just keep going over this, just keep making the triangles, and uh, yeah, that that is really simple concept. It is really easy to get the hang of. Uh, it might take a few practices. You won't, you might not get it first time. You might not. You might see what looks good and then incorporate that into later designs. So yeah, practice makes perfect, just like everything in graphic design. And um, yeah, so just keep doing the triangles and uh, just pressing Command F. And yeah, there's no specific technique to it besides from that this is just how you do it. Each designer would do it in their own way. And that's probably one of the best things about this effect is that it will be different on every picture, on every design. And it always turns out looking good. So now we know the technique that we're going to be using. I'm going to be showing you guys that basically how to do it. I know it's kind of what this tutorial is, but um, yeah, it's when you're doing this effect, you should do each individual part of the face. So you do the eyes separately to the rest of the face because if you incorporated the eyes with um, the rest of the face and then press Command F, you could see that you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the skin and the eyes, and that's not what we want. So what we would have to do is let's just undo that real quick. Uh, so what we'd have to do is we have to do the eyes separately. So we'd go around the eyes in just using our triangles like we do for the rest of the skin. Um, and yeah, so we just go around the eyes like this. We'll press enter there just because we went over. Okay, and, and then we would do the skin completely separately. So you can see that, uh, so now we'd go around here. And there we go, we'd do the skin like this. And yeah, that, that makes it a lot easier just to tell the difference between the, the facial features and uh, yeah, everything else pretty much. Uh, so yeah, and also if you do get little gaps in between your triangles, that is fine. It's, you, you might not be able to see that. I'll just make a better example for you. So uh, let's just say we did this triangle here and just blurred it. And then we did this like this. And you can see that there's a little gap in between the two triangles. That is fine. You can just redo it. Just go over. It's probably better if you overlap your triangles. And uh, yeah, you can see that the gap is now gone. And uh, yeah, so you can literally overlap your selections as many times as you want. You can see we've got a bit of a double edge here. So we can just extend this maybe. And there we go. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much all you need to know for this tutorial. Just I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna finish this off and I'm gonna speed it up just so you guys can watch it and get a bit of an insight of how I would do it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching the video and uh, don't forget to tweet any low poly designs that you've made and yeah, don't forget to tweet them at me. I mean, and uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Your reflection in my wine glass. It's when I look away. Can't stand anything about losing your fine ass. How the fuck I let you slip away? Life for the party, but I'm dead inside. Kill my vibes, it was genocide. Hard to act like I've been alive. I'm trying to find where I identify. One time for the girl that got away. Two times for the bub I'm about to spray. Three times for the power that I pray to. Are you up there? Can you hear me? I know I fucked up. It's clear, see? I'm 22, but I don't act like it clearly. <laughs> and all this shit is a mirage. I'm just rapping for a cause, the life, the fame, the lights, the game, we break the laws, don't like to change, wanna win you back, but I hate to lose, I know that you're the one, but it's hard to choose.